Now let's get a closer look outside. Matt Paddock is joining us now live from Cranston. Matt has a lot to see where you are. Matt, what's going on? Yeah, Chelsea, I'm out here in Cranston where I spoke to residents, and they tell me one minute they were receiving that emergency alert text about a tornado warning, and the next, their homes began to shake. I thought I was going to be swept away. Fallen trees, broken windows. I hear loud wind coming around, and I get up, and my whole entire house starts shaking. An experience that Sheila Strobel and Ashley Sullivan say they can't explain. The whole house, like you could hear it. Like it's literally like shaking. Next thing I know, my uh, daughter's bedroom, like window, smashed. It's crazy. So it kind of just scared us all. Their backyard in shambles. The lawnmower was on the other side. Any kind of chair you see was over here on the patio. So, and it all came from the side of the house here. Just two streets away. This came home and so my boat flipped. Sal Bragna coming home from a family party to an unwelcomed surprise. What am I going to do? <laughs> well, how am I going to get it back up? 12 News was there as his neighbor Michael Yato explained to Sal what he saw. The rain started coming down real heavy, right? I, I saw the big flashes of lightning over here, right? So I said, I'm safe standing on the sun porch, inside the sun porch, right? Mm -hmm. And it, then the intensity increased. Yato saying he was nervous that the boat would come through his home. It was going to get airborne. And it goes through my porch, right? So I ran down in my basement. I said, Oh, Jesus Christ. Now, Bragno tells me, while well, what happened to his boat right here, he says it is unfortunate, but that he's just thankful that nobody got hurt. But reporting live in Cranston, Matt Paddock, 12 News.